pain comes, pain comes. Okay, a lot of it, a lot of misery happens, a lot of people come in, they leave your life, a lot of stuff happens. Here's the thing, y'all. When that type of stuff goes down and you're on that roll of, you know, there is a common defense mechanism to pain. And that's to close our feelings and our heart up to it, right? We harden up and it's not a mistake, but it's something that you've got to let loose, right? Here's the thing, there's a lot of pleasure in life. There's a lot of people that are gonna come into your life and open that heart or require that you have an open heart because here's the thing, you keep a closed heart to the world around you you close yourself to the joy and the emotion and the things that could come your way, you know? And all, and almost what kind of happens is that you start to develop kind of like an egocentric view, right? Because it's all about you, you know? If it does, you know, you start to become close to everything that isn't you, right? Because the pain happens and then what, you know, the pain happens, it hurts you and then it brings you to a certain point and then all of a sudden, now you don't like any of it. You're just, you're hurt, you're destroyed. When the people have left your life, you know, a woman broke your heart, um, you know, some people in your life died maybe, and you close your heart to that emotion. You close your heart to that life, to the life around you, and even the death associated with it. And what happens is when you close your heart, it, you know, our, we defend ourselves by saying we're never going to experience the pain again by never allowing ourselves to let it in in the first place. So you, even if consciously we don't think, it's subconsciously we do. And it just happens, right? So what I invite you to do, if, you're, if you find that you're in that position where you're lone wolf and you close yourself from the world, you don't really let anybody into your life because you don't feel they're good enough or whatever, or nobody has the business to be in your life, let me just give you a consideration. Let them go. Let it all go. Let your heart open up again. Here's the thing. You know, pain is inevitable. Pain is inevitable. And when you understand that pain makes you stronger and it is inevitable, you just gotta let it happen, you'll learn to open your heart a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna learn. Like, I've, I've had positions where I've been placed in a spot where I've closed my heart and I've become that egocentric view because if it wasn't me, I didn't allow it in because I didn't want to get hurt again. I didn't want to allow anything that was potentially going to cause harm to me a second time, right? You know? So what, I, what I'm telling you isn't, it is just to allow your heart to open again. Allow your heart to endure pain a second time if it must. Allow it to endure it that third time. Because if you're, you're an individual and you have a right to be a person for your own in your own life and you have the right to be alone if you wish. But don't become so alone in the sense that you shut yourself off from everything else. <sighs> you know, like don't become so alone in the sense that don't become so closed in the sense that you never allow anything else to come into your life and please you and make you happy and open yourself to the joy again, right? Because if you become so close to that, you know, you never allow yourself to re-experience the joys and beauty. Like, look at all this. Like, just look at this. Okay? I mean, come on. Come on. That happens once in a lifetime, y'all. You have one life to view this as this person, as a human. You have one life to do that. You know, yeah, you have multiple lives that you may potentially live. Cool. Why waste this one? Come on, like look, look what you have around you. And you're closing your heart, you're closing your emotions to this so you don't get hurt again. What I'm inviting you to do is open that up. What I'm inviting you to do is allow emotions to come again. Allow that pain to come again. Allow life to go through you again. It doesn't happen to us, it happens through us. That's another Elliot Hulse reference right there. And that's a Stefan reference, um, okay? Life happens through us, right? So, you know, 
if you close your heart, you'll never allow anything to go through and you'll never experience true life again. So start experiencing true life again by allowing your body to become free, by allowing your soul to re-experience what it has lost. What it is is close itself off to whatever pain put it in the compromising position it is to make it say, hey, look, I'm not going to experience it again. You got to open yourself up and say, all right, look, what happened happened. I forgive it. I let it go. It's a done deal. I can't change what was in the past. But I can't, that, that shouldn't prevent you from allowing yourself to live and let life come through you again. Okay? Open your, open your heart one more time. And if it gets hurt again, sit with it. Be with the pain, be happy, and then move on. Keep doing life with an open, vulnerable heart. And I guarantee you, the moment you do experience joy, the moment you do experience misery, the moment you do experience those emotions, they will feel so much more real and so much more complete to you. Open your heart and let life happen through you.